Welcome to TPM Vids Disney Beat, where we talk about all things Disney. If you're new to the channel and like what you see, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. You can also find us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Disneyland Paris is the most visited theme park destination in Europe. Over 375 million people have walked through the gates to experience these classic Disney rides and attractions. From slow-moving dark rides to high-speed thrills, you can board a hypersonic vehicle and blast off into space while you twist and turn through the Wild West, scream till you drop in an abandoned hotel, then ride the East Australian Current. There's a thrilling adventure waiting for everyone at both the Disneyland Park and Walt Disney Studios. But have you ever wondered which Disney rides are actually the fastest? Well, be sure to keep your hands, arms, feet and legs inside, because today in order of speed, we'll be counting down the top 10 fastest rides at Disneyland Paris. Number 10 Disneyland Paris doesn't have as many fast throw rides when you compare it to Walt Disney World in Florida and Disneyland in California. Technically, the Disneyland Railroad would be number 10 at a top speed of 14 kilometers or 8.6 miles per hour. Not that fast and definitely not thrilling. But, I mean, you do get some great picturesque views of the park, and there is the Grand Canyon diorama before passing through Frontierland. It's definitely worth the ride, but why don't we highlight a couple of the other must-do rides that have a bit of a thrill built in. First off in Adventureland, there's Pirates of the Caribbean, and I would say this is the best version of the classic Pirates ride. It does have two small thrilling drops, one that's 15 feet in the beginning, and then there's one that's 8 feet at the end. But the whole ride layout is different than what we're used to. It still has all the scenes we know and love, plus some new ones. Everything is so much more detailed, and these animatronics are in top-notch shape. The ride looks brand new, and it's also one of the longest, with a ride time of about 10 minutes. Then in Discovery Land, you can find Star Tours The Adventures Continue. Inside, the ride looks identical to all the Star Tours around the world. As C-3PO pilots the Star Speeder, this motion simulator experience lasts four and a half minutes, and it'll be sure to take you into a galaxy far, far away. Number 9. Staying at Disneyland Park, the Casey Jr. Circus Train might surprise you as being the next ride on the list. Casey Jr. opened along with the Storybook Land Canal Boats in March of 1994 as part of a Fantasyland expansion. Now, the original Casey Jr. Circus Train at Disneyland in California is an actual miniature train, but here at Disneyland Paris, the ride is actually a roller coaster. This is a powered roller coaster manufactured by Vacoma, so instead of relying on gravity, it uses a constant power source along the track to move the train, with a top speed of about 20 kilometers or 12.4 miles per hour. This coaster offers a leisure ride with some spectacular views of Storybook Land. It offers such a great perspective of the dioramas down below and all that detail. This was actually the very first roller coaster in the world to feature an onboard audio soundtrack, and it was all thanks to that constant power source along the track. Overall, it's a very tame two-minute ride that's perfect for the little ones, but if you're looking for a little extra coaster credit, then don't forget to take a ride on the Casey Jr. Circus Train. Number 8 Heading to the Walt Disney Studios Park, Toy Story Playland is home to three uniquely themed rides, with Toy Soldiers Parachute Drop being the next one on the list. The ride opened in 2010 along with the rest of the land, and this was the very first Toy Story themed land created in any Disney theme park. Now, Toy Soldiers Parachute Drop is another ride on the tame side, but it has some really fun theming. Once you're seated in the ride vehicle, you ascend 82 feet into the air. You'll hang here for a few seconds, giving you a chance to take in the view, then are dropped at speeds of up to 20 to 25 kilometers or 12 to 15 miles per hour. Each ride cycle includes four drops, and you get a really great bird's eye view of the park. Toy Soldier's Parachute Drop lasts about one minute and 30 seconds, and it's a perfect gentle thrill. Number 7. 
Back at Disneyland Park, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Peril can be found deep in Adventureland. The ride opened in July of 1993, and although it's a pretty standard coaster layout, it's still a lot of fun. Once you climb up the temple and find yourself inside, seated in the minecar, you'll embark on a journey through the excavation site of this lost temple. As your train clicks its way up the 59-foot lift hill, the ride begins at a slower pace before making it down the first of the mini drops. Then, as your train gets going, you pass down a couple more curved sections until you're hurled into the biggest drop. As you reach speeds of up to 58 kilometers or 36 miles per hour, you'll find yourself going upside down as the train passes through the 360-degree loop. It's a very compact track design, and on first glance, you would never expect there to be an inversion. Back in 1993, this was the very first Disney roller coaster that took you upside down. Today, the one thing that's still missing from this coaster would be an onboard audio soundtrack, or just some overall area music. That would really heighten the ride experience. With a ride time of about 1 minute and 45 seconds, it might not be the smoothest ride, but Indiana Jones and the Temple of Peril is still perfect if you're looking for that dose of thrill at Disneyland. Number 6 Crush's Coaster over at the Walt Disney Studios Park has to be one of the most popular rides at Disneyland Paris. The ride opened in June of 2007, and you may think that because it's a Finding Nemo ride, it'll be tame, but think again. Just outside the ride's entrance, you get a little taste of what's in store. Now, once you make your way through the queue and into the Sydney Harbor loading area, your turtle shell awaits. Make sure to move quickly because your journey into the big blue world is about to begin through this enclosed steel coaster. As the shell leaves the load station, it dives into the ocean, passing through the only outdoor section of the ride. Then you'll find yourself on what appears to be a slow-moving dark ride. Here, everything is vibrant as you explore the Great Barrier Reef. Moving past the sunken submarine, you're taken up the lift hill, escape Bruce, and land into the darkest depths of the ocean. Thankfully, the East Australian current saves you, and the real thrill begins. You'll find yourself twisting and turning through the dark, reaching top speeds of up to 61 kilometers or 38 miles per hour. Your shell will spin as it dips and dives along to music that plays in the show building. Now, don't worry, it doesn't spin nearly that much, and the ride isn't as dark as some of Disney's other indoor coasters. Lines for Crush's coaster get very long as the day goes on, so it's a good idea to try and head there first thing in the morning or right at the end of the day. With a ride time of about two minutes, Crush's Coaster is an exhilarating trip through the East Australian current that'll definitely have you saying, Dude, that was awesome! Number 5 Staying at Walt Disney Studios, it's hard to miss the 183-foot-tall Hollywood Tower Hotel, which is home to the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. The ride originally opened in December of 2007, and it was the fourth incarnation of the ride. It was an exact clone of the Tower of Terror built for Disney California Adventure. In September of 2019, Disneyland Paris reimagined the attraction as Twilight Zone Tower of Terror A New Dimension of Chills. And I gotta say, this gives Tower of Terror at Hollywood Studios a run for its money. Now, here in Paris, you're invited for a tour of the abandoned 1930s hotel. But now there's a brand new story that really brings a lot more suspense and thrill to the actual ride experience. See that little girl who disappears? Well, she's now the main spirit that haunts the hotel. And let me tell you, she's up to no good. Once you're seated in the elevator, the anticipation builds as you sense the thrill that's just around the corner. You better hold on, because as the elevator stops at different show scenes, you never know whether it'll send you up or drop you down. At its highest point, the elevator drops you 13 stories at speeds of up to 63 kilometers or 39 miles per hour. Now this isn't your typical free fall attraction. 
Imagineers, along with the Otis Elevator Company, design cables at the bottom of the shaft that actually pull you down at speeds faster than free fall. You'll really feel this one in your gut. Tower of Terror A New Dimension of Chills actually has three different stories and ride profiles, and the entire experience lasts just over two minutes. It definitely leaves you wanting more. Next time, you might not make it back. No matter what, this adventure to the fifth dimension will make you scream, because you never know what kind of drops to expect on Tower of Terror. Number 4 Across the rivers of the far west and frontier land at Disneyland sits the 108-foot butte inspired by the Monument Valley and home to Big Thunder Mountain. This iconic Disney Mountain was an opening day attraction in 1992 and was primarily based off the design of Big Thunder Mountain at Walt Disney World. It was the fourth version of the ride, and it's also the fastest, reaching top speeds of up to 66 kilometers or 41 miles per hour. Big Thunder Mountain takes you up three lift hills, down multiple drops, as it twists and turns through the old mine town on the wildest ride in the wilderness! The big difference with this version of Big Thunder is the fact that it's on the island where Tom Sawyer Island would normally be found at the other parks. And with water surrounding the ride, your train actually travels under the rivers of the far west through a pitch black tunnel at the beginning and end of your journey. This just adds an extra layer of excitement and thrill to the ride. It's a really unique part of the experience. With a ride time of 3 minutes and 30 seconds, this version of Big Thunder Mountain stands out from the rest, and it's definitely the best version of this ride. Number 3 Next, let's head over into Discovery Land to check out another iconic Disney mountain. What's now known as Star Wars Hyperspace Mountain, the ride originally opened as Space Mountain in June of 1995. It became Hyperspace Mountain in May of 2017. Now, out of all five Space Mountains at the Disney theme parks, this one in Paris is the most unique, and again, it's also the fastest. This Vacoma launch coaster has you traveling from 0 to 71 kilometers or 44 miles per hour in a matter of seconds. <laughs> This makes it the only version of the ride with a launch. It's also the only Space Mountain that takes you upside down, with three inversions. This includes a Sidewinder and a Corkscrew. It's an exhilarating two minutes of unexpected twists and turns through the dark as you blast past those TIE Fighters. Plus, it's all tied together by synchronized onboard audio, which provides the perfect Star Wars soundtrack to this high-speed adventure. It's a very smooth ride, and Hyperspace Mountain is one of those coasters you'll want to ride over and over again. Number 2 Back in Toy Story Playland, RC Racer may appear to be on the tame side, but looks are definitely deceiving. The coaster also opened with the land in 2010, and even though this is more or less an off-the-shelf half-pipe shuttle coaster manufactured by Intamin, Imagineering added the Disney difference with theming. The queue is made up with a bunch of slot car track pieces, which is really clever. Then, once you're secured in this oversized RC car, the vehicle starts accelerating forwards and backwards, making its way further and further up the 82-foot halfpipe. As the vehicle crests the top of the track and gravity pulls it back down, it'll reach speeds of up to 75 kilometers or 47 miles an hour, but not for long. The ride time is on the shorter side, coming in at just under a minute, but it's still long enough to feel a bit of airtime. Since there's only one train, loading and unloading takes a while, and waits can be very long. I would suggest heading here right after Crush's Coaster or closer to Park Close. RC Racer is one of those rides that may not look too exciting on video, but I promise in person it's much more thrilling. Number 1 Avengers Campus at the Walt Disney Studios Park is home to the fastest ride at Disneyland Paris. Avengers Assemble Flight Force opened in July of 2022 but the ride originally opened as Rock and Roller Coaster in March of 2002. 
On this intense, fully enclosed coaster in the dark, you'll be teaming up with Iron Man and Captain Marvel to save the world from an intergalactic threat. We've got one chance to save the planet, so no pressure. Once you're in the loading area and board your hypersonic vehicle, the anticipation builds as they count down the launch. Before you know it, you're going from 0 to 92 kilometers or 57 miles per hour in a quick 2.8 seconds. While you're on your mission to save the world, the ride has three inversions. Two rollover loops that happen just after the launch and one corkscrew near the end. As you're speeding past projections of Iron Man and Captain Marvel, most of the flight force takes place in complete darkness, which does add to the thrill. It's a really fun ride, but the projection and lighting effects could have offered a bit more with this re-theme. With a total ride time of 1 minute and 50 seconds, it's still a thrilling experience for coaster enthusiasts and Marvel fans alike. So have you ever visited Disneyland Paris? Which rides have you been on? I'd love to know! Leave a comment down below to start a conversation, and don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video.